season will be open a little bit longer, but not much longer. The season's winding down. You definitely want to get out there, take advantage of the slopes and everything that Summit County has to offer. So like I said, I'm here with Coach Jesse from the Breckenridge Bucks. How are you? Good, Lauren. How are you? I am great. So tell me a little bit about the Breckenridge Bucks. Well, we just uh, finished our season not too long ago. Um, now we're getting ready for next year already. So um, I hit the road tomorrow, do some scouting, and uh, just to rebuild our team and uh, just try to uh, have a successful season like we had this year. Yeah, so highlights from this past season. Uh, we made it to the finals, which was uh, pretty neat, uh, the final four. Um, there was there's six teams in our league, so you know just to advance that far was pretty good. We wound up in third place overall. We were kind of in third place all year, so we're happy with that. Um, and that's going to be our goal now for next year. You know, we got a, we, we made uh, third place, so let's get better than that. You know, uh, this season, this next season. So, what are you most excited about right now? You're kind of, you said you're scouting. Is that exciting? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, it's ex it's exciting to get some new faces. You know, some new players. Uh, you know, within the program, and now that we have a, a year under our belt, we got some momentum and stuff like that, so people know who we are now. Um, so we've, we've been getting a lot of phone calls and emails from from different players, different coaches, and things like that. So now it's my job to go out and watch these guys and. Uh, and see how they are and see if they fit uh, for what we need. So do you get to go all over the country while you're scouting? Yeah, yeah it's a little a little bit of a hassle sometimes, <laughs> you know, running around the travel part. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's worth it uh, when, once you get your team on uh, on the ice and uh, and get going. So, yeah, pretty much from here on till about the end of, end of July, you know, I'll be on the road just trying to, uh, you know, find the players that we need for our program. And then when does your – you have preseason and then a regular season, I'm assuming? When does all that yeah. start? Yeah, we'll have a little uh, uh, mini camp in August kind of thing, kind of training camp. And then uh, September we'll really get going with practices, some exhibition games, and then uh, – uh, our season will start in October, first weekend of, of October. So that's really exciting. So you said that we know last year was your first year. What did you? What do you like about coaching the Breckenridge Bucks? They were a brand new team last year. Now they're going to go into their second year. There must be like a lot of emotion and excitement. Yeah, there is. Uh, you know, you never know going in first year. You know, everything's you're going kind of blind a little bit. But uh, you know, it's exciting that we had some success, and not just. Uh, you know, not just with wins and losses too, but you know, just within the community, we had a lot of good things that happened. Working with the youth hockey program, working with some different community events, so it's uh, it was fun to just see those guys grow as individuals, and now they're moving on to the next level. We have a lot of guys moving on to college hockey, so that that's exciting for us, and uh, and we're just going to keep that cycle going, bringing more guys, and and hopefully they'll move on again uh, at the end of next year. Yeah. So, do you have anything that you're planning for next year that was different from this year? Uh, a couple secrets. I don't want to let those out of the bag yet. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, a couple different things but uh, yeah it, it, you know it's 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 not rocket science it's hockey so um, it's just uh, trying to get these guys better and just trying to uh, help them move along in their careers yeah it's fun the games are really fun I know you'll have to wait until when did you say your season starts October, in October, October. <laughs> excuse me so. we'll have to wait until October but they are really fun um, so if somebody wants to find out more information about the Breckenridge Bucks how can they find out more? right to our website BreckenridgeBucks.com best spot to go to um, all our social media links are up there too so BreckenridgeBucks.com yeah cool do you have any like is there any way that people can see the highlights from last season on social media and things like that yeah we got uh, we have a YouTube channel so oh, you cool. can go on there and uh, see some of our videos some of our games uh, some of our interviews and stuff like that so definitely check that out get excited and get excited for the next and get excited for the season yeah Mary's behind the scenes like guys I know the season's winding down the ski season you had a spill the other day. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my skates, I think. Yeah, I had a little snowboarding incident, so <laughs> I'm going to put the skates back on and hang the snowboard up. <laughs> they say you're not a local till you uh, hurt yourself on the slopes. So. Yeah, I'm a local now. So you're a local now. <laughs> well, Coach Jesse, thank you so much for joining us this morning, telling us a little bit about the Breckenridge Bucks. I hope you have a great off season and you have fun scouting. That's probably really exciting. So I hope you have fun doing that, building your team for the next season. Um, yeah, that pretty much wraps things up for us here from Breckenridge. So thank you so much for joining us today while we hung out at the Breckenridge Welcome Center and uh, watching Summit Sunrise this morning. We're going to take a break, but then you'll be back in the studio with Ashley.